Hey friends, welcome back to another clean with me. This time we're doing a main bathroom deep clean, a little bit of organizing, and I have a fun new tool I can't wait to share with you till the end. So my bathroom doesn't look too bad. We keep it pretty tidy in this closet. Meh, needs a little work. I feel like we shove stuff in it. You can tell we're very minimal. <laughs> I literally will get rid of anything that we haven't touched in like a couple months. I'll be like, you know what, we haven't touched this, donate. Um, and I also don't have a lot of spare towels because I just don't. I have a couple in the guest room, a couple up here. We kind of have our towel preferences. Let me know if you guys have a ton of towels or very few. So I do have some like off-brand Windex. I've been trying to get rid of it for a really long time. I don't really love the smell of Windex. I think it's like terrible for you. Regardless of if something is terrible for you or not terrible for you, if it cleans really, really well, sometimes I have a hard time letting go of it. Some things are just really nostalgic based on what my mom cleaned with, what my grandma cleaned with, etc, etc. Um, I got these little containers at Target, but I know Ikea also sells them. So I think they were in the dollar section of Target, but Ikea has them for like two cents. <laughs> I don't know. I spent four hours at Ikea yesterday and I'm so excited for next Monday's video. I haven't filmed it yet, but we are doing a pantry redo. I have a whole Ikea haul to share with you, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because that is going to be so fun. So I'm basically just kind of moving things around here at this point, like figuring out what the best flow is, taking things out I know I don't need, I can put somewhere else, downstairs in the garage, or donate altogether. This is a huge closet, I feel like, for a master bathroom, for at least me and my husband. It might be small to some people, but we just don't have a lot of stuff to fill it up, so I feel like it's a lot of space. I also don't like to keep things in their original containers and I'll probably deeply regret putting the q-tips in here but I had to get rid of the box I just had to do it I am going to look for a container that looks like this with a lid I could have gotten one at Ikea yesterday if I had been thinking about it and then all of these little baskets and knick-knack thingies they're all being donated they were at the top of the shelf because they were in our old bathroom but I don't need them here anymore. So like I said, I'll probably really regret the Q-tip situation the one time they fall, but I will get a lid or run to Ikea and get a container with a lid next time I'm out there. So now I'm starting on the full bathroom and I will link any cleaners, any little things I feel like might be helpful for you that I use down in the description box below. I love my cabinets and countertops. We pick those colors out. I'm just obsessed. My countertops are quartz and I love the method cleaner. I've used a ton of different cleaners, but I feel like it really cleans it very well. And I did use Windex on my mirror because I'm trying to use it up. I'd rather use it up than just throw it away. But I use a method all purpose in my sinks and then a method granite stone cleaner on my tops. My tops are, like I said, quartz and they have a very tiny little bit of gray and brown specks in them, but I just love how they just look white. But here you can see like the little specks. I just really love how they look white from a distance. They're so pretty and I love our sinks. They're like the sunken sinks. We did upgrade to that. And then as far as like, the um the faucet handles and everything right now they're chrome because that was like an included thing with our build but i do want to eventually turn everything to gold it'll be a bit of an undertaking because there's a lot more doorknobs and handles and knobs and faucets and everything you know when you think about it and i also don't want to be wasteful so i've been looking don't tell my husband don't um, I've been looking at ways how you can repurpose them, like by spray painting them. I'm obsessed with spray paint, so I might undertake that. <laughs> I might wait till it's a little bit cooler outside um, because I know the spray paint will adhere better, uh, but I'm really excited I might do that this winter. And in worst case scenario, if I try it and it doesn't work, that's okay. But we're giving this bathroom a really deep clean today, getting things put back to where they go, getting things decluttered, and I'm just having a lot of fun. My mom used to tell me this all the time as a kid, that I used to purposely say I liked things and enjoyed things that other people didn't like, 
And she's like, I think you really did like those things, but when people would complain about doing a specific chore, you'd be like, oh, I like that. And sometimes she thought it was being antagonizing <laughs> to other people, but I truly do love cleaning and cooking, and I love being in my home and wiping things down. Let me know in the comments what your favorite area of your house is to clean. Mine is personally the kitchen. Bathroom is second. these little things up at the Dollar Tree last time I was there and I'm obsessed. I have, I don't know why I have so many, literally I just needed two, but I also picked some up at Ikea, the really big ones for your bathroom. And I thought if these didn't work, I'd use the ones from Ikea. If the Ikea ones, if you know, they were laying around extra, I could either take them back or use them in my pantry. But these actually are awesome and they have the hook turns. So you can like turn it, if that makes sense, love it. And then I decided to quickly go through our bathroom caddy. I feel like this gets really, really dirty every single week. So I make sure I wipe it down. A lot of people ask, do you have a squeegee? Get a squeegee, yes. We have a squeegee, we use it every time after we shower, but I still like to Windex the windows. I think it's just an OCD thing. I can see the streaks, I can see the dots. No one else can, just my vision. I have super vision. I can see all the dirt. I will say one thing I don't love cleaning, but I'll do it because it is oddly satisfying is toilets. And I now have three toilets to clean. And I've said this before in other videos <laughs> and I laugh when I think of it, that upstairs like guest hallway bathroom, I'll sometimes ask my husband like, hey, did you use that bathroom at all this week? Cause I'll purposely not use it so I don't have to clean it. And he'll be like, no, I didn't use it. And I'm like, thank goodness. That's one less bathroom I have to clean because three does get to be a little much. It's just that one chore. Everybody has that one chore. To me, it's the toilet. It is satisfying. It's really easy, but I don't love it. And then here 
is this beautiful new toy I have. It's a Tinco. I'm obsessed. I did a really quick short on it um, here on YouTube, just like a really quick review. My boss gave me a gift card for my birthday, and I'm sure she would have loved to see me buy something for myself that was like home decor or something fun. And when I told her I bought a Tinco, she laughed. She's like, I literally knew that's what you were going to do. Like, she's like, I knew in the back of my mind that you were going to buy something practical that was not at all what I had hoped you would buy, but like, I knew you would. And I love this vacuum. If you've ever thought about investing into a piece for your home for cleaning, get this Tinco. I will link it down below. But also check Target because Target had an amazing sale when I picked mine up. But I'll link it below. I think everyone needs one in their home. It's truly the best vacuum cleaner cleaner I've ever used. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you give it a like. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're cleaning today. And of course, subscribe so you never miss a new video by me. I post every Monday. And my goal here on my channel is to just share my joy of cleaning, my joy of organizing. I don't need to teach you guys new things. I just hope that you'll turn me on while you're cleaning your own home so you have some company and I can motivate you and inspire you along the way. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next Monday.